Hello everyone, my name is Andres, or Andres, and I'm also known as the Glorious Aguacate. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you a game called Grim Fandango Remastered. I am hopefully going to be making a let's play uh, of this game. Uh, it's a game I truly enjoy. And uh, hopefully you do too. I will be doing more of a, a story run of the game, as it is a fantastic game. The voice acting, the music, everything about it is just fantastic. So, uh, not taking too long in here. Yeah, let's uh, start the game. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well... The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. yeah -ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Now, is this our uh, our saint? Who knows? Let's find out. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. <laughs> all right. Now, as uh, you might have noticed, I haven't been talking much during these cutscenes or these uh, voice lines. And that's because I won't be talking much uh, during the cutscenes or voice lines. Um, I want you guys to uh, enjoy the voice actors' job. They did a great job in this game. It's fantastic. 
and uh, yeah, that's why. So here's our first item of the game. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. <laughs> so the game is filled with these um, little uh, voice lines, I guess. <laughs> Sorry for saying it so much, but it's true. But they are. Uh, here, you see that the game does not save on its own. You have to do it uh, yourself. So if you're past anything, if you're ever playing this game, do save it frequently. Uh, it doesn't crash that often. Uh, at least I haven't experienced that many crashes. But just in case, you know, save often. Save yourself a, a, a headache of having to redo everything. I know I don't like doing that. But yeah, let's go. And like I was saying earlier, um, this game's filled with uh, a bunch of these voice lines. They're all pretty great. I suggest that if you're playing this game for the first time, you go through them. They are pretty hilarious at times. Um, I may show one or two here and there uh, while talking to some people, but I won't be doing all of them unless uh, in the comment section you guys want to hear more of them. Uh, it might make the videos a little bit longer, but um, yeah, just let me know if you want to hear them and I will put more voice lines. And here is our first, well, not first, but kind of first character in the game that we've met. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? This is Ava. Ava's a interesting character. <laughs> She's very liberal, I guess you could say. Yeah, let's say liberal. What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> As you can see, right there is the biggest example of great humor in this game may not find it as funny as I do, but I find it hilarious. And continuing forward. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. We need business. Well, we have business with this uh, hole puncher right here. We need to do grab the cards. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Uh, that's what we need to do for a later section in the game. We don't need to do it now, but might as well do it now that we're here. And here's another little uh, joke sneak peek. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Not really a joke, but uh, I consider it one. And, spoiler alert, that was our uh, our driver. <laughs> we'll find out why he left without us in just a second. Hey, service! Hey, who the- Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect- Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. <laughs> 
It looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. And he's not wrong. <laughs> Looking at the little uh, shack or hut, whatever you want to call this, it is incredibly small for how large of a creature he is. And everything else as well. Uh, what you heard there, Glottis is a spirit of the land. Uh, I would call him more of like a, a demon, because he doesn't look very, uh, well, nice. Well, he, he's a nice guy, but he, <laughs> with those huge teeth and, you know, yeah, you, you know, you know what I mean. So what we do here, take this. Oh, Manny. Just take the sentences one more at a time. You'll get it. Did I grab the wrong one? Oops. Work order. Yes, I did. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. All right. So, uh, our boss will not see us to be able to sign this. And you'll find out why in a little bit. First, we go downstairs. And we go outside. And you'll get to see how amazing this game looks. Well, to today's standards, people might not say it looks very amazing, but I consider it very pretty. Especially the Mesoamerican art style and stuff. Now, over here, we have a couple, a couple of things to do. We first, well, not first. You can do this in any order, but pick up Since I really a didn't get friend. to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Ah, yes. This game is set uh, in the land of the dead, and it starts off on the day of the dead. <laughs> um, a little funny. I think it's uh, around one of, one, of, one of the first games that came out that uh, has done the whole land of the dead, uh, day of the dead. Um, kind of like plot line to start off a game or like can, to play the, as the base of a game. Uh, yeah, now we have this uh, not so happy clown attack. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? <laughs> Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. 
Now, as he said, uh, famous poets, and Robert Frost is one of them. You can make all three of these, uh, well, four, I guess. One of them is uh, kind of a really easy one that he doesn't have to do anything with, but we need one of either a dingo, a cat, or Robert Frost. Um, doesn't change much what they do each, but uh, I was just taking Robert Frost just because it's fun. Robert Frost, trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Oh, we have a better look at uh, Robert Frost here. Uh, not so much a better look, actually. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Robert Frost is an American poet. Uh, if you want, you can look him up. I don't personally know much of his work, but I do know about him. Now, the things that we need. Kid, uh, wants another balloon animal. Oh, geez, what now? Apart from Robert Frost, we need two Heck, dead worms. that's easy. There's no limit on those. There you see why I said that uh, one of them wasn't so hard to do. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? And one of the more dead worms back there. Well, sure. All right, and now we can scurry on out of here. We'll never see that guy ever again. <laughs> I think. I don't particularly remember, but I think that's that's. Now, uh, here, I want to point out this uh, floor and also this eye. We'll be uh, doing things with this later. Just remember them, if you can. Now we gotta go up this uh, tie ladder. I think they're ties. Can't see anything other than a tie, or maybe a handkerchief. And we need to get into this room. Now this room is where our boss is meant to be. <laughs> As you can see, he is playing hooky. He's not in the room. But he has made his computer answer the telephone. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Now you can change it to all these and listen to them if you want. And uh, the responses that Ava has and stuff. Some of them are uh, pretty interesting funny. Uh, but we need a specific one. And that's this one. Not oh, cripes, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will ya? I'm busy. Yeah, that's my terrible impression of of, uh, of the, uh, well, not his boss, his manager. But this is the one we need, and I hate this computer sound that we were listening to, so I'm gonna end this with just change his auto-response here. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will ya? You? I'm busy! All right. Now, if you wanted, I can make a separate video showing like some of the different voice lines for that. Uh, it'll be a short one, but I can do it. Um, but again, let me know in the comments uh, if you want to hear that. Uh, yeah, let's continue on. Oh, I forgot to mention that in those voice lines, um, they do change every time that Ava, when you talk to Ava for the first time, uh, to talk to, to uh, our manager. It does... Oh, my bad. Let me pick that up first again. I'm gonna have to do this now, but might as well do it now. Uh, when you talk to Ava to sign the uh, paper for the first time, that voice line may change. It doesn't stay the, the, first, the, uh, the one you heard this time. It can change to different ones. I didn't know that for a while, and uh, in the process of playing this game again to uh, be able to make these videos and try to be as entertaining as possible and uh, as concise as possible when uh, making these videos, uh, I realized that that voice line does change. But now we go up to Ava.
Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. If you, if I uh, ever go through a section that I don't have much to talk about, um, and it's a trek that you've already seen me go through, uh, do let me know if you are okay with me cutting that out of the video, just to make the video shorter. Um, might not be like a, a big change, but I don't know. Maybe you don't want to stand through a silent section with me just running back and forth between areas. Uh, yeah, do let me know in the comments section. But for now, let us finish this first little bit here. Ah. Yeah, well, I'm all over the place. EOD. If I really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> <laughs> Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, uh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Alright, yeah, the living look, well, we the living look pretty terrible in this game, don't we? And for some reason, when we die, we lose one of our fingers, because if you notice, or ever look at the hands of these uh, characters, they only have four fingers. Stylized, I don't mind it. I think it looks nice. It looks fine. But, continuing on. Here we have some living people. You can talk to them. There are different voice lines there, here and there. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Best one in my opinion is this one. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. <laughs> but, continue on. You can talk to all of these, and if you're playing the Steam version of this game, there's all types of uh, uh, achievements that you can get. Uh, if you talk to all, all of these characters and make them change their faces and keep their faces changed, I believe, uh, it gives you a, uh, an achievement. Yeah. Continuing on. Here we see if we have our saint. Do we have it? Nice bathroom. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster. If you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! 
Oh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. I don't know if you guys caught the, uh, what the cup said, but it said the first day of the end of your life. And it's, uh, <laughs> pretty good. Alright. Now, we can continue coming up here and we don't need to do anything in our uh, office. We don't need to actually, we don't need to do anything up here right now. Uh, but we come in here and we get our first sight of Domino. Our competitor in sales. Now we can talk to him. Um, doesn't say much uh, things that you need to know. Just a couple of back and forth between them. They don't really like each other. Oh well, Manny doesn't really like him. <laughs> and Domino is, is, Domino is just a jerk. But what I wanted to come in here was to show you that uh, Mouthguard will be um, I'm back for that later on. Now we can talk to Ava, but we won't. We just have to go back down. The game brings us up here, but we don't really need to be up there. Just gotta come down here and get past this. Place, uh, you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. <laughs> we don't think we're better than you. We just are. You rude demon spirit thing. Alright, so we go back in here where we saw Mr. Martinez. And we need our worms. Up, oh, wrong button. We go to the first tube. We need one of each. We need a blue, a uh, a blue concoction thing. I don't really. I guess it was foam, packing foam. Now, to find it, we need the red. Back in your phone. You know, it's kind of like um, resin. You need uh, you need a version of both to be able to, for it to be compact. Uh, we can come in here. Just want to show you that this is the tube switcher where we need to come later. Uh, usually, when you see things that are a bit off like this, or you look your character looks at or Manny looks at, I mean, uh, it means you can pick it up. We won't though. We'll leave it there for now. It uh, shows something that I didn't know could happen, or, or that happened before, because I always picked up that tube, that, uh, not tube, that um, fire extinguisher. So we just gotta go back to our room, our room, our office. Grab our balloons, and... Look out below. Now, it didn't become hard or like... Or like expand there. Um, but... 
That's because it's a two-part solution. For it to expand and become hard, you need the second part. That doesn't sound good. All right. I didn't mention this earlier, but usually when you do things in this game and um, they progress the storyline, uh, you'll hear a little... I guess you could say a music cue. Uh, earlier when we uh, Servers gave... down again. What else is new? <laughs> when we gave Ava the um, the work order with the sign, uh, and the cutscene started playing, before the cutscene started playing, you could hear a little um, jingle. I want to go back to see that. Um, do so. <laughs> but here we are. We could go talk to him. We could pick this up. But we just gotta wait a little bit. Anytime now. Anytime now. Not again! You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Alright. Now we could talk to him. I don't particularly like him. His character serves a purpose. An open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. This character serves a purpose. That's all I like him for. Oh, the camera can be wonky in this game. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't really want to talk to him, so let's just continue. Good enough for government work. All right, we come back here and we open the door. Now, as you saw there, this game sometimes doesn't play kindly with uh, its background paintings and um, or animations and the uh, the 3D models that uh, govern in this world. <laughs> that door didn't—he <laughs> he grabbed it initially, but he did not open it properly. Now, that's just a tiny flaw from this game. I choose not to care about it, because it's not something that's uh, really bothering me too much, or like, I'm not gonna break anything in the game. It's just a visual bug. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah blah blah, died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada, aha, positive attributes, volunteered time reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. Hop in. Dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. 
All right, we can ask some questions. We can try to find out what's happening through her to see if anything was off with the uh, the bio. Most of these are pretty rude to Meche, and I don't particularly enjoy uh, doing these voice lines because it kind of feels mean uh, for Manny. But yeah, if you want to hear them, let me know. I could go through them again. Uh, but I don't particularly care to right now. So I'm just going to continue. Excuse me. But I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. And here is where we will end this episode for today. Uh, this is really fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. Uh, I, you know, I never really noticed the uh, shadows here. You can cover her with them too. That's pretty cool. You learn things every time you play this game. <laughs> As I've, I've been noticing frequently recently. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this these uh, or this video. Uh, and hopefully this series. As I am planning to make more of these. Um, I am probably going to be making the second episode of this. Uh, after this recording. Uh, but if I don't. Do leave uh, in the comments. Uh, what you think of the video. If you think I should change anything. If I should raise any volumes. Volume of the game. The volume of my voice. Um, also, I apologize if you hear any clacking or clicking from my controller, as I'm playing this with the controller. You can play this with the keyboard and mouse, as it is a point-and-click game. Um, but I prefer the controller, and it doesn't have tank system. Or tank controls, as it used to. You can turn them on, but it doesn't have them, because this is the remastered. And I completely enjoy the version without the tank controls, as tank controls are... Let's just say they're not fun to play. <laughs> um, yeah, do let me know if you think I should change what you think I may add. I don't know what I'm capable of doing at the moment, just because uh, I am new to making videos. Um, but do, do let me know what you think of the game, what you think of the video. If you liked it, do leave a like. If you um, want to see more of these, do subscribe, uh, hit the little bell button. Um, I am new to this, I don't know how often I'll be making videos, but hopefully uh, often, as I have quite a spare time right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will be talking to you guys in uh, the next video, which will be next time. If I don't answer your your comments or your questions or your, your inquiries in um, the next episode, it's because I made it right after this one. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know. If you, first of all, yes, <laughs> I'm keep repeating this, but if uh, you wanted me to do any more of the voice lines, uh, or if you wanted me to cut some of the sections of just uh, backtracking in certain sections of the game, uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say right now. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.